Dagenham? What are you talking about? He ain't dead. How do you know that? I just do. Well, who told you? OK, you've got to listen. Yeah, I'm all ears to everything. Cos you might hear one bit and jump down my throat and that's not what I want. All right. Something happened. After this thing, Chrissy said... Hold on. Chrissy? What's she got to do with it? What did I just say, Kat? Well, I don't understand why you're bringing her into it. She's been telling people that he's run off with some bird. He ran off with another bird, Charlie. I mean, what do you want me to say? Oh, what's her name? Miss Marriage Racker Jones. I don't know. He never told me. So she's the daughter of the business associate from Dagenham? Yes. Well, uh, what's the business? Dodgy business. Any address? 93 Hooky Street. No, of course I haven't. Well, don't you know his name, number, anything? Charlie, I know how this has made you feel. Mugged. Stupid. I want to kill him. You're not going to find him, Charlie. He's taken liberties with my family. What's that he told you? Nothing yet. Cat's trying to get some sense out of her. Right. Are you covering up for him? You what? Well, this story. Den. A man you don't know. A bird without a name. It's all a bit conveniently vague, isn't it? Well, oh, well, thank you for that, Charlie. You really know how to turn the knife, don't you? Have you been putting stuff down that sink? Cos the water's not draining away properly. I haven't touched your flipping sink. Well, you could at least have done the washing up. I thought I was a guest, Pauline. Sharon is. You just happened to come along with her. What, don't you want me here? Ian's taking me out for a drink later. Do you want to come? Not really. Go on. You don't have to hide anymore. I'm not hiding. I just don't see the point in hanging about now Den ain't here. Dennis, this is my home. At least let me spend a bit of time with me old friends. No, I know it's been a hard morning. Makes me realise why I didn't want to come back. But the wicked witch of wolf are breathing down my neck. You know what you are? What? Mr Crumpy Trousers. <laughs> now, eat this. Let's see some of the old lovely Dennis. I know he's in there somewhere. Uh... <laughs> right, well, I'm just popping out to get a new plunger. It's all glamour, isn't it? Hey, give a hand with the sink. You what? Well, if you don't want to come out, you might as well be useful. I'm trying to sell the book he's not replumbed Pauline Valor's sink. Well, go on. You never know. She might start being civil to you. Mm -hmm. There weren't another woman. Chrissy's lying. Why? Ain't it easier to say he's dead? It's a lot less humiliating. She can't say he's dead. Why not? She just can't. What, and you can? What are you, a spokeswoman? How comes you and her are best friends all of a sudden? We're not. So what did she say? Zoe, Den's gone off somewhere and died, but I didn't bother going with him or saying anything because I've got a pub to run. You think this is funny? So what exactly did he die of? A head thing. Did Dr Leroy see him? No. Kat, you said you'd listen. No, I am. So when was the funeral? Because I don't remember anyone mentioning it. it must be really difficult to keep them girls under control, don't they? You what? Look, Charlie, Charlie, oh, come hey, on. He hey. didn't mean anything, boy. Did you, Minty? No, I was only saying that, you know, it must be an handful. Well, more than an handful. But not that I was assessing them on it. What you going to say that for? What's Dad doing? Never mind, Dad. Answer the question. <gasps> Zoe! Shh! He's trying to find Den, isn't he? Well, if he's dead, he ain't gonna find him, is he? I've got to talk to him. No. You're talking to me. Oh, you let me out of here, Kat. I'm still waiting to hear when this funeral He was. didn't have a funeral! So he died and he was secretly buried somewhere. If you're gonna lie, at least make it convincing. I wish I'd never opened my mouth. Will you let me out, Kat? I've had enough. No, not until you tell me why you're lying. I'm not lying. Oh, so why didn't you mention all this in the pub? You heard the rest of your dirty news I in couldn't. there. I couldn't. There were other people involved. I only wanted to say certain Cobblers. things. The whole story is cobblers. What's happening to you? You lie about the baby, then you lie about who the father is. Now you're lying to your own mother. Oh, the mum card. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, have you got something to what say? What do you this? want from me? I want the full story. And you expect me to tell you anything? When you lock me up and shout at me and, and what, you think I'm going to come out with the truth? That's your plan, is it? You ain't got a clue anymore, Kat. This might have worked when I was eight and I nicked your airbrush, but not anymore. I'm 21. I've seen what the world's like. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> you might think you're Believe grown up. Believe me, I am. You are clinging on to a Zoe that don't exist no more. 
Oh, who squeezes these things on, Superman? Yeah, let's have a look. I'm a whiz with sinks. Look, Pat, if I can't do it, then... <sighs> oh! Oh, quick, give us a bucket full of gunk cumpers I have. Tell you what, it's yeah. another world under there. Four bottles of bleach he's got. That's not normal, is it? I got six. Six? It's a middle-aged woman thing, Dennis. You wouldn't understand, love. Now, if you're looking for Pauline, she's out getting a new plunger. No, actually, I was looking for you. I'm on my way back to the bookies, and I thought you might like to join me, get a bit of behind-the-counter experience. What for? So that when you're talking to buyers, you can explain the process. And what, open shop, flea smugs, closed shop? I mean, that's the extent of it, isn't it? I think when Andy left you that place, he sort of saw you running it. Yeah, carrying on the tradition of wasting our lives. Well, we had some good times there. Look, Pat, if I was staying, you know, I'd definitely come down with you, but I'm not. I'm sorry. But if I do sell the place as a going concern, I'll definitely recommend they keep you on. Thanks. She said that they did a bit of dodgy business together. I know every dodgy geezer from here to Leighton. And if one of their daughters was whipped away by some old bloke, someone would know about it. Exactly. So put the word about. I'll get hold of Sharon and Dennis, see if they can give us some more clues. Still a long shot, though, Charlie. I don't care. I want to lay my hands on that smug git. Oi, dreamer, ask around your mates. This girl, she's apparently no older than Zoe. Oh, my. What? What if there ain't no other girl? What do you mean? Well, you said she's the same age as Zoe. Well, what if it is Zoe? Oh, talk sense. Well, think about it. He disappears. Ten minutes later, she's got a new plan in life. She's off to Spain. I reckon she's meeting him. Zoe wouldn't do that. I hate to say it, but she's done it before. Yeah, when? When she was going to stay with Harry. Don't you remember? She kept that right quiet, didn't she? Why won't you talk to me, Zoe? We used to tell each other everything. Slater girls. What? I don't know what year you think it is, Kat, but that's history. You ran away without contacting me once. You kind of blown it. I thought we sorted this out. Last week, we talked all about it. I just went along with it. I just wanted you off my back. I just wanted to get out of here. I thought you understood. I wanted to talk to you, but I was ashamed. I just didn't want you thinking bad of me. It's always you, in it. You think you're the centre of the universe. While you're away, nothing's allowed to change. Everything has to stay the same. Well, it don't. Things happen. People change. I've never heard you talk like this before. Is it that bad? Well, is it? What do you think about me having an abortion? It's your decision. Don't flannel me. You think I made the wrong choice, didn't you? No. You were raped. Kept the baby. Little Mo was raped, kept hers. So he goes to bed with an old man willingly and flushes the kitty away. That ain't what I was thinking. I saw it written all over your face when I said it. Little princess, I think she's so special. You always make out we've got this perfect relationship that we share everything, but it's not true, is it? Yeah, it is. It's all surface. I can tell you that a boy's broke my heart or someone spilt my tea. But this, this goes way beyond our stupid little mother-daughter thing. What? It's us. We need to speak to Zoe. I'm talking to her. Open the door, Kat. Look, she don't need everyone going on at her. Open the door. Are you meeting him? What? Just answer me. I mean, is this trip to Spain something you've cooked up together? No! Oh, it's funny how he does a bunk with some girl that nobody knows the name of. Is it cos that girl's you? Yeah, I love him. We're gonna run a wall park together in Alicante. We're trying to protect you, and you're making us look stupid. You're making yourselves look stupid. I'm not going to meet him. You said that before, sneaking off to meet Uncle Harry. She's definitely hiding something, Uncle Charlie. Look at her. You're gonna shut your old Stacey. Why don't you open yours and we might actually get some? You are gonna get such a slap! Yeah? I'll take you down, darling. I'll paint you all over these walls. Shut up! She ain't meeting him, now leave us alone. Come on, you do know what you've got to do. No, wait, Dad. I don't want you asking no more questions. Give me that key. No! Get off! <gasps> what on earth's going on in here? I thought I'd give you a hand. Looks like you're doing a wonderful job. Have you always been this sarky? Years of practice. Get out of the way. I'm going to plunge the sink. Look, I can manage, Pauline. I want to plunge the sink, all right? I've been looking forward to it. It's not sucking. That's because there's nothing under there. 
Oh. Now, look, why don't you just go in there and put your feet up? I'll make you a cup of tea or something. Here, yeah, Mo. Any word from home? No, I really wish I knew what was going on. Hey, Chrissy. Yeah. How's about giving Mo the afternoon off, eh? No, no, it's all right, Billy. Dad's told me to stay here. He's got a lot on at the moment, and they're a close knit family. You yeah, were lucky then. Well, it's been a long lunch time, hasn't it? What are you, the soft slater representative? Sorry. Take it, you've heard what's kicked off. Yeah, what are you going to do? Find someone who knows where that crinkly bit is. If you hear anything, let us know. I'm going to have a word with my mate. Oi, no. Show a bit of respect, would you? Stacey, come here. And you as well. But Uncle Charlie told us to put the word around. Yeah, we can put the word around somewhere else, thank you very much. Come on, Stace. We'll have a word with the market boys. Look, whatever happens, I'm still your friend. Thanks, Mo. Need as many as I can get at the moment. Give me it. It's Sam. Um, look, just tell me yes or no. Have you told him? Told him what? Who was that? It's none of your business. to leave it. I wanted to know, OK? So what does she say? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, come on. Or don't you know? Do you ever notice that crack over there on the fruit machine? Tiny little hairline thing it is. Don't play your games with me. You know, every time I come in this pub, I look at that bit of floor over there where you mopped up his blood. Shut up. <laughs> Sad, though, isn't it? Some things aren't quite as easy to get rid of. No! I'm sorry, I did not slip you the time. Uh, yes, you did. Pauline's living room, 1986. I only wanted a peck on the cheek. All right. You're lost in your eyes. <laughs> Have a nice afternoon, eh? It's hard behind that bar, innit? Look, why don't you have a drink with us? Yeah. Oh, no, thanks. I'd rather stay busy. Can I get you two anything? Do you really think that's going to help? What did Sam mean when she said, have you told him? I don't know. You must know. What's he got to do with you anyway? I'm your mother. Gets you out of everything, that one, doesn't it? Nan was right. It was like this when you was going to meet Harry. Had your little secret then and all, didn't you? Yeah, and you had yours. And yours beat mine, hands down. I had to tell you. I did. This ain't then, Cat. What are you saying? That you wish you never knew? Well, are you? You have to push it and push it, didn't you? Wring every last drop of information out. Make me cry, make me relive it all just so you can know everything about me. Maybe I don't want you to know. So there is more. I'm sick of the third degree. You always banging on about me and my mum at times like this. The rest of the time, you hardly bother. I mean, can't you say that I made a mistake and you love me and everything's fine and I go into the world happy? You are my daughter. And that pervert took advantage of you. I did what I did willingly, OK? This is not Harry all over again, Cat. This ain't your chance to right his wrongs. Uh, Pauline, I... I'm sorry about what I said earlier. As usual, I mouthed off before knowing a full story. Don't worry. I'd have done the same. In fact, I think I did. Talk about history repeating itself. Yeah. What did then do? I mean, when it all came out about Michelle, did he lie low? Huh? No, not at all. No, he fronted it out like he always has done. So you, you don't think he'd leave to avoid the flak then? What, Dennis Watts? He loves flak. No shame at all. Uh, have Dennis and uh, Sharon said anything about seeing him? Not to me, no, sorry. Uh, oh, didn't know you was here. I'm as much in the dark as you are, Charlie. We came back specifically to see him. Well, if you do hear anything, can you let me know? Or well, I know he's your old man and everything, but... I really want to get my hands on him. Join the queue. He'll come out the woodwork one day, he always does. Yeah. Let's hope so. Do you really want to get away from me that much? Yeah. OK, fine. I'll help you. Mind? There you go. See ya. Have a nice life. I'll tell you something about secrets, though. They live with you. And you can run as far away as you like. They'll always be there. For you, maybe.
Charlie, no! You come here! No! no. Let me go! No. 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 You lot got nothing better to do. Name, please, sir. Charlie Slater. So what was all that about then, Charlie? You gotta get rid of that copper cat, and you gotta tell the rest of the family to stop asking questions. Why should I? You ain't told me nothing yet. I'm really serious. Just tell them that you know where Denny's now, and there's nothing they can do. You gotta put a lid on what this. What's going on? I'm warning you, cat. Otherwise, you won't see me again. Don't you start. Emotional blackmail. Don't wash me. I'm really serious. If they start asking too many questions, the things are gonna come down. What things? So what, you started this with your little announcement in the pub. How will you be straight with me? Come on! He's dead! I was there. Sorry, what are you saying? I was there. If you don't shut them up right now, then I am looking at a prison term. Once they start sniffing What's us out. Happened? Look, I'll tell you everything. I promise. Just stop them first, please. Please. All right, darling. All right. <gasps> Nothing. He, he just said something that upset me. Who were they talking about? My daughter. What about your daughter? <laughs> well, she... He's talking about me, officer. I've shown my dad up again. I had a few too many drinks last night and ended up getting mixed up with that bloke out there. He's only looking out for me. He didn't mean anything by it. You can't just go around starting fights with people. Especially at your age. Betty, come in here. Leave him alone. Hmm? Here. Do you remember when Pete tried to fix the central heating in the flat? Oh, do I? I tell you, it was the middle of winter. I ended up having to wear an extra pair of socks just to go to bed. Oh, you still do. Mm. <laughs> oh, do you want some more, Auntie Paul? Well, I don't know how much have I had. Oh, you, you've hardly had any. I think um, Shan's been drinking most of it. Oh, yeah, little, bottomless pit, yeah, yeah, just a little well. bit. <laughs> yeah. hey, listen, Dennis hasn't been too stroppy, has he? No, no. It's nice to have a bit of life in the house. <gasps> oh, stupid thing! believe though. She would lie to me. Not after everything we've been through. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, until all the secrets come out. Well, she's hyper one minute, like a zombie the next. I don't know who she is anymore. Well, I do. She's my little girl. I know what's going on. So what you're saying is we're going to let him get away with it? Well, I'm not particularly happy about it myself, Dad. Oh. But we've got to respect what she wants. OK, I'll have a word with her. What? You think you can get through to her better than I can? I promised her that you'd leave it. You're going to make me break that? I've got to get some here. I'm very quiet in there. Let's see how he's getting on. Come on. Mm. I'll get my snorkel. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Wow! All done. Best two hours of my life. There you go, Pauline. He does have his uses. Yeah. Still running away very slowly, though. I've cleared half a bucket of gunk away from those pipes. Yeah. Well, never mind. I'm still going to have another plunge. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Zoe. That's all right. She's an old boot, but I suppose you got to love her. Yeah. You know, I thought that a lot today, seeing all the old faces. Mm. There's only one face I was interested in seeing. He's not even here, so why don't we just go? Right, yeah. I thought we'd get packed up and head to Brighton. When? Tonight. Tonight? What about the bookies? Well, you know, the wheels are in motion. They can just call me on the mobile. Darren? Uh, yeah. <gasps> don't know my own strength. <laughs> Arnie Pullman, I think you need another one just to uh, calm your nerves down. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Station's temporarily closed. Why? Defective train. I've got a plane to catch. There's a bus over there. Wait! 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 This is 
is a jinx. Get out, Billy. I could have had my little man up. Go away. So here we are again. You know exactly how to use me, didn't you? Make out I'm being hard. Accuse me of pretending to be a mum just so you can get what you want. What has happened to you, Zoe? Am I that hard to talk to? You don't want to know. I do. Just say it, Zoe. Just tell me what you meant. Me, Sam and Chrissy killed Den. We got him to the Vic and we killed him. What's that with your sisters? I don't know. They nearly knocked me down out there. Has anything happened? Oh, they're always like that. I won't worry. Get a pint, please, Mum. Yeah. Of course, I'll kick you off down there with Cat and Zoe. Say something. Smashed over the head. Once by me, once by Chrissy. I thought I could get away without telling you. But you just don't let up, do you? No. <clears throat> now you're a little girl, you can't do things like that. Well, I did. So you're gonna have to rethink that little girl thing. Tell me the story from the start. I don't want to hear it. Just tell me, so. If I tell you, we will have nothing left. You won't want to know me. Just tell me. Dennis weren't happy. I could tell. I didn't want him to leave me, so... Den said I should tell him I was pregnant. I did. And he stayed. He was really sweet to me for a while. But I weren't pregnant and he weren't gonna make me. And I needed to be pregnant, I was so desperate. So, I went to Den. in pieces. I wanted you to be here. I didn't know what to do. Please don't look at me like that, Cat. You've got to make it all right, Cat. Please. Cat. Please. So by your own admission, you're an accomplished liar. I am, after all, a policeman pretending to be a criminal. I am playing a role. Violent, racist, homophobic, sexist, whatever. I am, in fact, none of these things. Murphy's Law, tonight at 9 on BBC One. Up next, Airport. For a chance to work on the BBC's Asian radio soap, Silver Street, go to bbc.co.uk slash new talent and apply. <laughs> 